Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, guys, so today is going to be a very short video, um, very limited for time today. I apologize. Um, but I have a couple plays for you guys today. Um, before I jump into that, though, I do want to take just two seconds to go back over uh, the picks from two days ago. Didn't have a free pick yesterday here on YouTube, but um, two days ago, uh, we had two picks and we went 1 0. We got, or sorry, 0 oh, 1. We got a push. We should have been one to know. We had the Florida Panthers. Um, heartbreaker. Absolute heartbreaker. Um, we're 95% to win that game. Um, less than five minutes to go in the game. I believe the live LA line I posted on Facebook. Live LA line was like plus 1100, plus 1200, something like that. Um, true odds. Obviously, there's juice built into there. True odds. 95% to win. Um, I can't imagine what we were to win with one minute left. Probably, you know, even higher. But... Um, what really made that game heartbreaking was uh, LA scored with about 30 seconds left to go. So we're going to overtime. Um, th that's a crusher. I mean, that's a crusher right there. But I think what really, really made it feel like a really bad beat at the end wasn't just that. It was the fact that when they went to the shootout, we got up one goal to nothing with one shooter left on either team, which now means that if LA doesn't score, we win. But even if LA does score, our backup plan is we can score and we can still win on the last shot. We have last shot. So we need either a save or a goal to win this game now. Um, life's looking pretty good again. And LA scored, made the save, um, and then we ended up losing. So, I mean, even after, even after, if you think of this from a uh, statistical odds standpoint, even after um, LA scores and they make that save, it's now back to a 50-50 proposition, give or take, obviously. Um, still couldn't come up with a coin flip after all of that. Um, wasn't meant to be. So anyways, one of the more disappointing losses I think that, you know, we've had this year. But uh, yeah, we're no stranger to uh, to having some bad beats when we have, you know, 95, 96, 97% chance of win. Um, it unfortunately has happened here and there. But um, moving on to today, guys, uh, here's what I decided to do. So this is what I, this is my breakdown for the day. Um, I have two NHL plays for you guys, pretty busy NHL card. I could just find the, you know, the two that uh, I thought had really good value. Um, I, I will say actually here, let me pull this up. I will say I might be, I haven't at this point. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on, uh, on this Red Wings line, um, I don't know. You know what? Here, here's the issue. I think that there might be some value in Detroit. Like right now you can get about 220, 215 um, on Detroit. Um, I also think there could potentially be value on the under at six and a half. But uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. And odds are I probably won't bet them if I haven't at this point. But they're not included in Masterclass. So I just want to throw that out there. That's the only other thing that really jumped out at me um, as, you know, potentially having good value. Uh, I know there's a little bit of sharp um sharps on uh, on nashville but um yeah not enough value in my opinion so um we got two nhl plays uh four college basketball two nba and six player props yesterday we went five and one in player props so hopefully keep it going um we got four nba player props two nhl player props so Fingers crossed, right? Uh, if you're interested in my full card, guys, BenderWins.com. It's $99 a month. Then it gets you my full card every single day. All right, so here's what we're doing, guys. My two NHL plays, I'm giving them out to you guys. They're both half unit plays, but um, if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous and you want to live life on the edge, um, you can go ahead and, and maybe parlay for a little bit extra, just a little bit, because these are what we call correlating plays, where one influences the other, okay? Um, first one, guys, we're going to go half a unit. Boston and Chicago, under 6, minus 110. Boston, Chicago, under 6, minus 110. And then we're going to go half a unit on Boston, minus 163. So I have seven different systems on Boston. Some very, very nice systems with very nice ROIs. However, um, there is a bit of steam on Chicago. Uh, in this case, I feel okay about it because the steam is ultimately what has given us this extra value to bet, okay? Um, I really wouldn't want to be participating in Boston, minus 190, minus 195. 
Um, minus 163, absolutely. I'd probably bet them up to, you know, minus 180, low 80 range, 180, 185, max, I think 185. Um, but we're going to do just a half unit on that. Uh, I think, you know, if, if a few more things line up, we get to a full unit, but um, it does leave us a little bit of room. We like the under, okay? We like Boston. Leaves us a little bit of room if we want to do maybe just a touch more than a sprinkle. You know, maybe we want to go a quarter unit on a little parlay. Um, by all means. I do not recommend parlays very often. You guys know that. But long term, I believe this does have an edge. Um, and it's funny, uh, you know, someone someone mentioned me about correlating parlays. Say, oh, the, you know, they, I guess it's, it's all a matter of perspective. He said, um, it, you know, a bunch of things have to go right to win a correlating parlay. I said, a bunch of things have to go right to win any parlay. But um, the way they said it to me is they say, um, you basically, you need um, you need Boston to score goals and you need, you know, Chicago not to score goals. You need, I said, really, ultimately, to win this, we just need Boston not to give up goals. You know, 2-1, 3-1. That gets it done for us, right? Um but yes, I mean, you know, obviously, guys, parlays have a bigger house edge. But when you're finding these correlating plays, there can be some good value there. OK, so um, just a half unit on each. I'll leave it up to you guys if, you know, you want to be. Normally, you would do a little sprinkle anyways. OK, normally you would just take like, you know, 5% from each of these bets and make a little sprinkle. But what I'm saying is um, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you just took a completely different quarter unit and put a quarter unit parlay. OK. That's it for us today, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in my full card, BenderWins.com. Like I said, uh, I gave you guys my NHL, but I got four college basketball, two NBA, and six player props, BenderWins.com. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. And as always, have a very lucky day and bye for now.